so ni kule back in the kama that is all mbele na nyuma so unless ni tumie pesa from Kenya yeah. they had nothing uh, hapa nyumbani Kenya yeah. tuko chini <laughs> hapa tuko chini What's a beautiful day. Welcome to my first time. My name is Mtala Kosia the Voice and today I'm joined by the founder of Cloud CG Studios and also the designer of Mobius, a 6x6 truck. So, today being uh, just talking about a journey of going to, you know, Dubai because we are talking about my first time in Dubai. What I mean is that he's first time in Dubai. So I want to hear some of the interesting things about Dubai and just his experiences being in Dubai. Karibu sana Patrick, how are you? Ah, very fine. Unaendelea aje? Unaendelea poa. Yes. So I'm talking about you as a sir. Ile siku you're going to Dubai. You can share with us that story. Asubuhi sasa ukijianda kulikuwa aje. So your siku the first thing ni kwa ni prepare like a week earlier. Yes. So and packed. So your siku everything Mama alikuwa ni pack everything for me. Yes. So nikachukua my luggages and your hiyo kwa gari nikazindikisha mpaka airport. Yes. Uh, so you can share with us maybe the the park or airport maybe we fit on time we chelewa ama kulikuaje. So uh, nili, uh, I was very prepared. So nilienda one hour before. Yeah. Nisikia ndege zinachanga watu so <laughs> na pesa nimelipa mingi. So I have to take care of that. Yes. So I was one Uh, earlier mm-hmm. so i waited nikifika kwa airport uh, it took me around that means to get there mm-hmm. so i had to wait now for my name to be called yes uh, so now let's go to the plane sasa kabisa mm-hmm. like you're going to the plane so what was in your mind that time that you have entered the plane entered the plane now ready to go now when i was getting to the uh, aircraft so there's a, there was a waiting room before we get to the plane mm-hmm. so Uh, you hear your train number yes it is written on your ticket mm. so then you get to you see the, there's a big window there so you can yes. see the aircraft it's a very big mm. Boeing A360 very big aircraft mm. double deck double deck yeah so we, we start getting there's a there's a certain path mm. a truck usually have a path that uh, mm. gets to the door yeah you know the, the aircraft is very huge yes, yes. so we just got in and the experience was like mm. another one Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, we shall fika Dubai. Now we have arrived in Dubai. So, mm-hmm. what is this first thing that fascinated you about Dubai? In Dubai, the first thing, the 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 main thing is the road. Yeah. The 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 pathway yes. from the airport yes to where you're taking the taxi. Yeah. The road you just stand mm-hmm. and the road takes you. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. The road is moving. Mm-hmm. So you just umesimama, umesimama tu hapo mambo yanaenda. Yes. Na kupeleka mpaka kwa taxi. Yes. Mm. So okay, so what was going on in your mind that time especially like kama kitu gani ambacho uliki experience something that was quite different kidogo as compared to nyumbani. Ah uh, hapa nyumbani Kenya yeah. tuko chini. <laughs> hapa tuko chini. The first thing uh, the roads the roads a car that is four inches to touch the ground is a picture kwa hizo mm. so you just see spot cars up mm. to the bumps mm. huko road is smooth then the buildings yes classy buildings mm. and when i'm speaking about the roads yeah. the finish work on the concrete yes, up to yes. tuna hii super high he, he express ya kwenda airport mm. mm. tunaiona is like a very big deal yeah. but huko yeah. the finishes finishes za za hiyo uh, Uh, the roads yes zenye zimekaribia kama expressway imemalizwa na tiles yes all road vitu safi eh si tu kumalizwa na acha vitu cement concrete hivi yes eh then but yeah. uh, hakuna kando kwa kwa maji mm-hmm. hautaiona hii maji chafu mm-hmm. yote iko underground yeah. hakuna vitingi za stima mm-hmm. stima yote ndio iko mm-hmm. underground mm-hmm. it's a very clean mm-hmm. city mm-hmm. but So when you um, uh, you have talked about uh, mm-hmm. things that you really enjoy and you, you are fascinated about when you were in Dubai yeah. but maybe this one thing that when you were there mm-hmm. you appreciated about this country mm-hmm. Kenya being home what did you appreciate most chenye huko hakuna but you saw home manze tuko mbele zaidi ah uh, um, ni mambo na social 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 life so huko watu wako mishayao mm huko kwa shida huko kwa shida peke yako 
Hakuna mtu wenyu. Kenya at least hata unapata stranger akusaidie. But huko ni Waislamu, wanakuona wewe mm. acha nisitumie lugha mbaya yeah. but they are on their class. Mm. Though I can tell you something about Dubai, it's not just about Islams. Mm. They real owners. Mm. They are just like 2%. Mm. The real owners of Dubai, uh, they are actually mm. uh, Arabs. So they know Islam is a religion. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. Arabs, they are black. Okay. The original, mm. right? they are black, and yeah. they are 2%. Yes. 98%, mm. or, or maybe 95%, I'm not clear, yeah. but the majority of the people there, mm. they are workers. They are from other countries, mm -hmm. so they go. Okay. They are visitors. Yeah. So the country, if, if you remove the standard population, mm. there are very few people and very, very wealthy. Yeah. So, okay, I just want to know, did you get a chance maybe to meet some of the Kenyans or maybe Africans, maybe interacted with them, some that were there, maybe to share uh, oh. with you the experiences being there? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, there's one time uh, I, I got out of my hotel, uh, I went somewhere for a massage, yeah. so it was a massage seat. Mm -hmm. So as I was doing my massage there, so some people were speaking Swahili and they hey, ah, hey, Ndugu! <laughs> Kumbe, they, they do export business. Yes. So, uh, they were, when you meet someone, when yeah. you're another country and you yeah. meet someone, you create a community. So, we became friends, we exchanged contacts. Mm -hmm. And even up to now, we do some business with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let me, maybe you can share with us, maybe, what did you, you know, while there, what are some of the things that you really explored and wanted to see, or maybe you got to explore when you are, while you are there? The first thing was Buj Khalifa. Yes. So I made sure mm. I go up to the rooftop. Yes. So I paid, it was around 27,000. Yes. So I paid a ticket, went there. Yeah. So I could explore and then buy. So mm. you know that that building is 700, uh, 700 meters. 700 meters, yeah. That's about approximately, about close to a kilometer. Yes. So yes. you are very high. Yeah. So when you are there, actually you have to hold some glasses and start to, see, to experience the the serenity, to have the view yeah the view mm -hmm. because it's very risky yeah uh actually you can't go outside the building you yeah. have to see it through the glass sure sure and sure it is you panic but yeah. you kind you, of that much person you, that you have yeah uh, yeah, yeah. height yeah, yeah height fright height phobia if you have height phobia that's yeah. not for you never try to go there mm -hmm. you faint wow Okay, let's, let's talk about what is this other thing apart from the Baj Khalifa that you really explored and you're fascinated about? The other thing, it was the desert. Yes. Desert safari. Yes. <laughs> My brother. Yes. So when I went there, uh, I hired uh, the ATV. Yes. You know the ATV? The what is, uh, like a quad bike. Quad bike. Yeah. So first, we, we to go to the desert, yes. you have to hire a faster car. Okay. So we went with a 4x4. It was a... There we have the v seats. Yes. You see these land cruisers? Yes. They have the seats, not yes. late. Yes. Okay. okay. So you go with those land cruisers there. Then after seeing the desert, there's a certain place for bikes. Yes, yes. So you go there, you, you pay some cash, mm. then you are charged per hour. Okay. So I was riding those bikes. Yeah. Then you first really? you are you are trained how to ride, then you tell okay. that person. Now uh, so it's not like just yeah. a normal bike because yeah. it has got hy hydraulics. Yeah. 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 So, so it was very prepared. fun, yeah. the yeah. place. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing I liked about that place, yes. uh, it was the only, uh, I visited, uh, we had a, a tour yes. with some tour guys mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So the car that I had hired. Yes. Um, we 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 saw a hotel. It's yes. a seven star. Yes. yes. The only seven star hotel. Yes. In the whole world, it's yes. known as Marina. Yes. That hotel, man. To mm. sleep there in one night, yeah. you have to pay seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Uh, that, that, that's that's on the Kenyan low. Kenyan shillings. Yeah, yeah. So Kenyan the, shilling yes. on the low. Yes. The low peak. The, uh, when, 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 when the prices are not not uh, on the peak. Yeah, not on the peak. Yes. On the peak, you can pay up to three million. Wow, wow, wow! That's a lot. Of so money. we risked and we went there. So we thought things were very expensive. Yeah. But imagine we drank coffee worth three thousand Kenyan shilling. That's a lot of money. You know. Uh, uh, at Hasla Fandi, Jafika, uh, but, uh, but you know, for such a hotel, <laughs> Mufia, yes. the prices, yeah, don't sure. be a kahawa ni 3,000. Yeah. Ah. 
Okay. Yeah, <laughs> because of that standard <laughs> yeah. that uh, yeah. eco pale you are for the now all sudden or maybe you expect most of the meals is like 100,000 and yeah. above or maybe something so, like that. So first you need to share the candle. Yeah, see the price of Yeah. So <laughs> so I spend around uh, 6000 yeah? Yes. Just for just, I want to just experience. Oh, so experience yeah, actually. Just some small set then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This, this and then they're outside yeah. sport cars. Yes. So there was those are getting in sport cars. Yes. Uh, we have uh, the G wagon, you know the Mercedes yeah, G wagon. Mercedes G wagon. Yeah. Uh, we have those big big cars. Yes. Limousines. You just see their their push push lives yes. so those people uh, they get in with luggage yes. so you know they are paid okay so you have to take some pictures and show yourself <laughs> you, you, you pretend eh? when you went yeah the experience is good also. <laughs> okay because most of the time yeah. in our country maybe you can find just a few people with uh, maybe the lamborghinis and ferraris but that is just like a normal lifestyle isn't yeah. it yeah. actually in kenya it's like you have one lamborghini <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe, but nowadays I think people. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay, it's only one. Okay, They're small. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, I think I've seen. Now uh, I don't know the city on is squeezed. There's something like a your green luminous kind of color. Yeah, it's not very common. The other one was the big one. Okay, mm-hmm. so okay, me. Can I not talk about you? Kito gani maybe labda you were there, and maybe kika kufanya kia labda chini siki zuri. I've told us about beautiful stories, but maybe you can pick up or labda kito kufanya kia maybe you can go. ukafika huko maybe ukapoteza kitu ukajiona unafanya mm-hmm. maybe uko jinsi vizuri maybe just something that happened there maybe chenye kilikuwa wakati ngumu kwa huko so i know that the life was good yes you know i was there for one month yeah sure so i was to stay there for 3 weeks yes so uh, i was at hyatt regency yes it's a five star hotel yes then When, I, when you get in, in Dubai yes it was you see 2021 yes yes the covid period yes so that night yes i was tested for covid yes uh, but i was covid uh, uh, you can't get the result immediately yes, so yes. When you get to the hotel yeah. there's a message that come to you from your phone yes so i saw a message your co- your covid positive <laughs> you were in Dubai that time. In Dubai, yes. the first day. Yes. But I already know I'm COVID positive. positive. But you from Kenya you negative. From Kenya it was negative. Yes. So what I'm worried koni ya daktari wetu. So yeah. Okay. I just got uh, a relaxed. Yes. Ah uh, this no, nothing was itching. Yes. I was Perfect. Perfect. So even I, I, I was thinking, when easy machine is a Dubai, it was full. But just like a Kahoma, we yeah. Kahoma. Maybe at the end we skia Kahoma. Yes. We skia. Maybe we are going to get COVID. It's COVID. Maybe. You remember yeah. my fully? And yes. I test oil. Yeah. And I in a test positive. Yeah. And I test. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So yeah. I don't think that thing was really yeah. accurate. It was not accurate. <laughs> mm. uh, so what happened after that? So after that, so you start. Uh, You, you you okay you have to protect mm. other people yes. so i was keeping distance mm. I, was make, i made sure i have mm. my mask yes and now i started uh, the hotel was i was living in was mm. paying 24000 per night yes so the, the you live on the day and on the night you, you have to pay 24000 yes, yes yes so my budget was for three weeks so after the three weeks were over mm. i couldn't afford to pay that kind of money mm. So and you, what is happening at that time you know you to get and back at home so people are expecting you back so yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. actually uh, let me speak like three days or yeah. five days before i come back yeah. so um that's a yeah that's a message you that's why i told when you go somewhere have extra have extra money yeah especially in a new country yeah. so i had like Hundred thousand extra, but mm. I had only bought some shopping. <laughs> so because I'm working, I can do come thirty thousand. Yeah. Mbele na nyuma. So unless need to me a pesa from Kenya, yeah. they had nothing, nothing else. Hmm? So uh, I got out of that hotel. Uh, time had expired. Mm. So the good thing yeah. I had the Airbnb app. Yes. So I got after Airbnb. I got after Airbnb cheap. I look at. Nali pa 6k pale. Yes. So just to the intercast kumbiri. Mm. Mm. Eh. Haishi bana. 
I, I go, you oh, see, yeah. let me tell you about this hospital. I told you, I told you, those, those, they are not accurate. Mm. So, like, one week before, yeah, I go to a test. The test was paying 5,000 to be tested. 5,000. 5,000. When I do the test, they are COVID negative. Negative. Shetani ni nani? Ukeda kwa ndege? Your certificate yako in expire after three. So, Dubai, mm-hmm. laws in a change overnight. Yes. Unasikia gawai mesema, your COVID certificate to be valid for just two days. It should be valid for five days. When I when I come at you, two days. We can't go airport. We can't leave there. She doesn't need none. I couldn't take you to Kenya. You never knew. Two days, Kisha. See, I was COVID negative. Yeah. So, so the two days in expire. You have to test again. Yes. Maybe another five k. Yes. Could be five k. We we end up going to get a super angry result. Positive. <laughs> Okay. So you so get go. three days positive, two days negative, three days. So you can make a new machine. You can make a new machine. You can make a new machine. Not a gamma. You know, first world country. Yeah. COVID in a kanga 14 days. As mm-hmm. yeah, we are called the Mbia Naval Days Organization. Yes. Unless I don't know those machines. Yeah. You are not a kid. Or maybe they can advise us more. Maybe much about you know COVID. Maybe a tujui bit of thinking about COVID. No. Yeah. Three days. Unaenda kubwa the biggest hospital. Yes. It was a government hospital. Yeah. You are paying 5000 for yeah. a test. Yes. Unaambiwa you are negative. Negative. Unaenda airport. Unakimbia wasa. Unajua umeenda airport the yeah. results zako zitatokea hii usiku. So una una kwa airport asubuhi. Yeah. Unaangalia kama message. Tin tin tin. <laughs> you are positive. You are positive. You covid positive. Yeah. Kai. So you take you, you go there unatoa mizigo yako kwa ndege where you are checked in yeah. mm. so zinaleta unazitoa una unaweza kuona and at that time you are mm. paying again the maybe pay, Uber accommodation kwa hotel actually it's not inexpensive like the Ubers of of that place yeah eh shukuru Kenya hii yeah. yeah. ni nenda ndio kwa portugal iko sawa hiyo ya huko unaona ukiita assume iko iko wapi assume iko tao au kwa westland unaona ni jamii westland ukishaita inaanza kuhesabu yeah inaanza kuhesabu now the initial cost ni in the nakonga 5 you have to pay 5 ndio in nakonga the initial mm. 5 dirham 5 yeah. dirham 1 dirham is that bo ya kenya eh yeah. mm. so 5 dirham ni pesa ngapi so how much what do enjoy sab 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 na tupiga ni so basically let, let, let's give it a random like uh, let's say it's around um asi na kuja ngapi like let's say 500 yeah. let's assume it's 500 assume just like 500 yeah. So you shall cut off. Na uja haijakufikia ipate jam ndio utajua. Uzuri huko kuna jam. So inakuja unapata already you have to pay like 300 aria or 500 aria. Mm. Then your trip. Yeah. Ukifika ina ina jesa but ina nanga na time. They they have a a speedometer at time ya sababu imefika. So the figure kuna unafika you pay you you can pay by card or you pay by cash. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, Usha, what happened? Ilifikaje ukapatwa you are now uh, negative now it's time to what go I did, to What I did? What I did? My agent will go and book a ticket from from uh, from Kenya. Mm. Alikuwa ameniambia ticket ya kurudi ni yeah. 30,000. Yes. So you remember I had, I had paid coming and going. Yes. So, my ticket ya kurudi I had given an excuse to the Emirates mm. uh, Emirates mko ni mpe excuse nikwambia mm. uh, unfortunately i was found to be covid positive mm. so they get return yeah you can miss yeah. so they understood that mm. but you judge siko nimejua you can visit uh, emirates headquarters zenye yes. ziko kwa airport yeah. ama hiyo agency yenye kwa airport mm. naweza wa visit mm. and you negotiate with them so was negotiating with the our agents yeah. our agents ni mashetani <laughs> and i have to pay that 1000 Ah then nikajanjarusha na my friend nikaenda airport nikaambia ah Patrick you can just just pay 6000 and you back to Kenya ah I was very really happy <laughs> so nikalipa sayo sayo <laughs> then my test ikakuwa iko negative. negative so that sounded for me but i used 25000 for testing covid i was tested how many times you had to go to 25000 wow 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 so five times na ile hoja panga na ile so umefika oh, Kenya first one first one ile yeah. Airport, yeah, yes, sabu. Mhm. Ile kwa free. Yeah. Sawa. Mm-hmm. But hizi zingine nne. Mhm. So I spent 20,000 on testing one. Can you imagine? Imagine the first test is kwa hivi. Mm. First one, you yeah, mm-hmm. covid positive. Second one, covid negative. The third one, covid positive. Then the fourth one, ikakuwa covid na negative. 
side ni ponea na then it is happening within 5 days so unashindwa hizo mashindi zao kwa so umefika hivi Kenya hivi mimi umefika Kenya hivi sasa hiyo yote how did you feel mimi fika Kenya nikaangalia ile express way yetu na kombe ile ilikuwa ya marble hii meko ki concrete imechapa chapo hivi na then me unaangalia mitaro inanuka but you yeah, at least we appreciate there is something uh, in, in, we appreciate in, but mm. ukiland the first thing land kwa airport kwa sababu airport yetu yeah. bag ile machine ya, ya convey belt yeah. ikahan yeah. kenya ikahan <laughs> so ina bidi wale ma gsu wa wanabeba mizigo na zileta to <laughs> much <laughs> then i bought for my child a kitoy gun yeah. a kitoy gun mm. so kufika airport mm. yeah walikata na wakasema sigigo yeah. mm. and so what is that feeling in your mind about um ume ulienda vizuri uka enjoy then kurudi kutaka kurudi kwa kwa na hiyo covid so that feeling umefika nyumbani ulikuwa na jinsi ya ah no the, the best thing home is best mm. so when i was there i was regretting why did i go there <laughs> the, the first time to ilikuwa raha yeah. but hiyo yeah. pasuri ya covid eh eh yo yo ya pana hiyo mtala if you mumbe covid is asha nashukuru sana Asante sana mm. Patrick for joining mm. uh, the show today. Yeah. This is my first time. So you know we have started this journey of my first time where we shall be you know talking to people different people in Kenya who have had different experiences outside the country. At the same time we shall be getting ready for travel blogs so we shall be visiting different countries. So we go to Nanza hivi pole 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 then January or so or maybe February we shall be visiting different countries in the world to tell and also to share beautiful stories. Asante sana Patrick. Asante. This is my first time. My name is Mtalam Kosia.